you can create a list, manage it, and also coordinate it with different grouping, all for a new project you might be working on. This will be helpful for anything you're working on and also you can express the information in different views inside of ClickUp. So welcome to today's video here on Keep Productive with ClickUp. Please do make sure you subscribe and let's dive in. So the first thing that we're going to do here is give the list a name. In this case, this is an event in 2023 and we're gonna call it the AI Conference. Maybe I'm planning something that talks about this. So as you can see, you can import from previous statuses that are part of other different spaces of your account. This is really helpful because you could just save all of this time in doing that if you have somewhere in your account that is pretty well synced up. Now in this case, I'm going to press none on group. However, I will show you the different and various groupings that you can do later. Now for this AI conference, I'm going to list all of the, I guess, key talks that I want to be run. And then I'm going to run it from there and set up a few of the different views that I would like to have in ClickUp. So I'm going to set up a few additional bits of metadata here. So you can do that by adding a column. Now there are a range of different columns in your account. And what we're going to do is set up a few. So in this case, I'm going to have the process for the entire thing in securing the speaker. So I'm going to say emailed and add a column for that. I'm gonna say negotiating, add a column for that. And finally, I'm going to add an additional column for secured. This is great for the different items in the pipeline. And as you can see, it gives me an outline of everything that I'm working on and I can click things off here. Now in this case, I'm going to add a few tags to this. So for example, I'm going to add a different sections to these tasks. As you can imagine, this future of tasks is about tasks. So I'm going to call this one co-pilots and I'm going to call this one co-pilots as well. And these two other ones are to do with the calendar. So I'm going to link that. So as you can see, I'm adding more metadata to this and I'm going to change this title as well. And I'm going to change it inside of the item so if I click in I'm going to add a due date of next week now you could do that from here if I did want to for example I could set out a few dates that I have in mind on securing all of these ideally before the end of January now I can add priority levels here in this case I'm going to add a few and they're the indications of how intense I want these tasks to be now for added context to this as well I'm also going to add the email as well so I have the email count for the contact person and I'm gonna add that column because that might be helpful for the future so I can add stuff here now the great thing about this is I can add an assignee in this case most of these are to do with me but if I had a team I can modify that now what's nice about the list view and managing this sort of data is being able to refine it and move stuff around so if I didn't want this column I don't have to have it everything's assigned to me what value does it particularly add now I can actually move the due dates to the end of the list because maybe I don't want the pressure initially of that. Now I can use all the sorting functionality to bring things to the top that are relevant. So you can use sorting to do that. So in this case, all the top priority items have gone to the top instantaneously and I can use filtering up here. But in this case, I'm not gonna be doing this because this is a list view for me. If I was creating a list view for somebody else, that might be more suitable. But let's go to group by. Now I'm going to group by, for example, tags. So tags are a great way to group by because if I had a lot of these, I could start filling in the sections like calendar, co-pilots and tasks. I could group by the priority level or I could group by one of the custom fields. So for example, maybe it's all of the ones that are associated with email. So let's tick a few of these in so you can start to see which ones have been emptied in the emailing department. So this might break down a bit of an indication of what needs to be worked on and what doesn't need to be worked on. And I can manage statuses from here too. So grouping by is a very effective way to break things down and you can use more advanced structures as well, like due dates. So for example, you've got everything for Monday that's coming up and future items. So if I move this till next Monday and I press close, what should happen is it pops back in here. So this can be organized much better and much more structurally so that you can really take advantage of it. If I didn't want anything there, I don't 
don't have to, but I can also have it in status. Now, for example, I've added a few items here like email, negotiate and secured. I don't necessarily have to have those. What I could do is modify the different statuses that I have. So if I go to manage statuses, I can actually go ahead and customize it a bit further. In this case, I could have custom ones like emailed or I could keep it to to do. I could also add something like secured and maybe put it in red and finally i'm going to change the to do icon to a blue one so this gives a bit of an idea of the custom setup i need so whenever i'm in a task and i decide this is being progressed into negotiation phase this is how it will look so I don't necessarily need this if I don't want to. And it's something that might make your structure of your area a lot easier to manage and a lot more visually clean. Now I can do this also by just jumping across and you can see here that if I got something done, I could even add it secured up here. So that's a little bit about managing your first table or list inside of ClickUp. Let us know if you have any questions in the comments below. Make sure to subscribe to Keep Productive with ClickUp in another video. We've got plenty of them coming out. Cheerio.